What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. This time actually revolving around the New York Knicks and LeBron James. With it currently being reported that Bill Simmons says that the Knicks were LeBron's first choice in the free agency in 2010. From everyone I've talked to, it's clear that the Knicks were his first choice. It was basically the Knicks to lose and they just couldn't stay out of their own way. So this is very, very interesting in my opinion, I to I really don't necessarily believe this at all. From you know, from what I've seen, it was mainly out of Chicago, Miami, and Cleveland. For example, if Cle you know Cleveland were able to potentially lure a big star in, I think he would definitely think about it. But I think it was always going to be Chicago and you know the Miami Heat because he wanted to go play with Dwayne Wade and wanted to bring Dwayne Wade to, you know, one of these teams or, or, you know, play with Dwayne Wade on the current team that he was already on, which was obviously, you know, the Miami Heat. But then we, ne you know, we obviously knew he ended up going to the Miami Heat. But there was a lot of rumors at the time as well, which I've spoken about in previous videos, that he actually wanted to go play as well with Derrick Rose on the Chicago Bulls. But I don't necessarily think Derrick Rose wanted to play with him at the Chicago Bulls or something like that. I think he wanted it to be his own team and he didn't want Chris Bosh, you know, Dwayne Wade and LeBron all be on the same team with him again because he probably wouldn't be getting the money he necessarily deserves after his rookie contract and all this type of stuff because of the cap space and again I just don't think it would have necessarily worked out um, to be that good of a situation because I don't think it would have ended up happening I only think that they could have signed LeBron and Bosch I don't think they would have been able to get Dwayne Wade and that's how I think that LeBron would have pulled out of it last second but at the time, the New York Knicks in 2010 had literally, like, barely any, you know, heap, you know, really too many good plays. They didn't have Amari Stoudemire. They didn't have Carmelo Anthony just of yet. They ended up only really getting Carmelo Anthony because Carmelo actually requested a trade to go to a team pretty much in the New York area, I do believe. And the only reason he did that is because he wanted to be the number one player on his own team. So I definitely think that if LeBron James ended up actually ended up, you know, signing with the New York Knicks, I don't necessarily think that Carmelo Anthony would have requested a trade to the New York Knicks or New Jersey on what it was rumored to be originally. I think he actually might have, you know, he could have even stayed at Denver or he could have just requested a trade to a different team. For example, literally, I, I, I think I saw something where it was like, you know, if LeBron, you know, LeBron had a pretty good support cast in um, you know, Cleveland when he did leave and then, you know, when, when obviously he left that supporting class kind of, cr uh, you know, kind of crumbled because it was mainly built around LeBron with, you know, Mo Williams, etc. So then I mean, imagine if like Carmelo Anthony kind of just went to Cleveland and replaced, you know, LeBron James in that type of spot. I think that would have been definitely very interesting, but I did. I think Carmelo honestly wants to go play for a team, you know, near New York, whether that was, you know, the New York Knicks or New Jersey or whatever it was going to potentially be. But with LeBron James, if he was actually to potentially join the New York Knicks, I don't think they would have ended up actually getting Carmelo Anthony, although it might have gotten Armadi um, Stoudemire, but honestly, that doesn't make any really any sense to me at all either, because it was also a huge rumor that you know, the New York, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers were actually going to try and trade for Amari Stoudemire to partner up with LeBron James. So why would LeBron, you know, leave Mo Williams, who's already an all-star on the Cleveland Cavaliers, and, you know, join the Knicks if he was already going to get Amari Stoudemire on, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first place? For example, he would have had Amari Stoudemire and Mo Williams, who were both two all-star caliber players on the Cavaliers, and I definitely think would have contended Rather than if he just joined the Knicks, it would have just been maybe a Marty Stoudemire and LeBron James. And maybe they could have gone out and signed someone like Chris Bosh. But again, that brings it back to why I don't think this is possible or would have ever happened. is because LeBron always wanted to play with Dwayne Wade and, you know, potentially Chris Bosh as well. And maybe even Derrick Rose here and there as well. So I definitely don't see a way or a situation where LeBron James was ever going to end up in the New York Knicks. As, again, if he ended up in New York, they would have probably traded for a Marty Stoudemire which he probably would have gotten at Cleveland anyway. And if he ended up at New York, then they wouldn't have gotten Carmelo Anthony most likely because Carmelo wanted to be the number one player on his team. So again, I kind of rule out all of them and I don't think it's really you know, possible or something necessarily that LeBron James would really want to do with you know the New York Knicks. So again, 
I'm not exactly too sure. I think this is one free agent that I don't think New York Knicks were really in the running to get. I know a lot of Knicks fans, they always get excited about, you know, free agents. Like, could they get KD? Could they get Kyrie Irving? Could have they got LeBron, etc. So many names here and there. Look, they could have gotten Kyrie. They could have gotten Kevin Durant. But I just don't ever see a way really where the Knicks were ever going to get LeBron. Because I honestly just believe, you know, the Knicks wanted to trade for Almighty Stider. You know, Almighty Stider might have partner up with LeBron. Then he probably would have just stayed at Cleveland anyway. Because they were probably going to go out and get Almighty Stider might have partner up with Mo Williams and LeBron James. And, you know, uh, Boogie Gibson anyway. So, again... I don't really think that would make literally any sense at all. And I just don't see a way where it was to really ha you know, happen at all. But obviously, there's a couple other teams that was rumored that LeBron was going to join in. I believe it was the 2018 offseason. I think it was Houston and Philadelphia. I might make a separate video on that. So definitely comment in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see videos on that. And again, this has been the, you know, how the New York Knicks almost signed LeBron James in 2010. But again, I definitely would really like to know you know, your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. Do you guys think the New York Knicks would have actually signed LeBron James? Or do you guys think LeBron would have, you know, 100% he was always going to go to Chicago or Miami? And he obviously ended up going to Miami anyway. So again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on that. Were the Knicks ever really a contender? And yeah, leave a comment if you guys would like to see a Houston slash Philadelphia video as well. Definitely comment that in the comment section down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.